Good morning, kindergarten. I hope you have your own copy of the morning message printed out. Let's read and write it together. Dear K Kids. Hmm. I'm going to write the word kids. Let's do it together. I hear a K. I start my letter at the top. I make my line down, then I come back up, slant in, and kick out. Kids, I hear the I um, sound, it, short I. Kids, I hear D. Kids, S. Remember, always start your letters at the top. All right, let's keep reading. It is Monday, March 30th, 2020, where we say 2020. We have a visitor. <laughs> it, it. Let's start with a capital letter. T, nice and tall T. It is Monday. Start your capital M at the top. It's naming the day. Slant down, slant back up, and go back down. March, same capital letter, it names a month. Then I hear ch, that's the ch sound. Thirty, I write with a three and a zero. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way we make a three. Zero. Two thousand twenty. It looks like they already wrote a twenty, and we know sometimes we read our year twenty twenty. Around the track and back. I have a treat for you to the, uh, this week. It's new popcorn words. Let's try it. Our new popcorn words are had and not. Can you tap these words out? Okay, now you get to show everyone at home how you can tap out words. Remember for the first sound, you put your pointer finger to your thumb, second sound, middle finger to thumb, and the last sound, the ending sound, is going to be your ring finger to your thumb. So let's tap out pop. It's part of the compound word popcorn. Ready? P -a -p pop. Let's try the new popcorn word had. Ready? <sighs> Ad. Had. I'm noticing that some of my letters are descending letters. They go below the line. And I noticed my H I go down and I swim up. The last one we're gonna tap out together is not. N, a, t, not. I 
I'm going to keep reading the morning message to you. There's one more thing we have to write together. Last week, we thought of words that rhyme with hop. Can you think of words that rhyme with had? Ooh, I'm asking a question. What do I put at the end of my question? There's a blank for you. Let's write it. You got it, question mark. Make a little book with your words. We want to see what you can do. There's my exclamation mark. Love, Ms. Eaton and Mr. Bell. Oh, I hear Mama Echo asking me something. And Baby Echo's here too. What's that, Mama Echo? Oh, Mama Echo wants us to practice our digraphs. Can you practice the digraphs with me? The first one we're gonna practice is CK, like at the end of sock. Hey, Mama Echo is so excited to practice with you. CK sock. I hope you echoed with Mama Echo. Her voice, she's really quiet. Okay, let's see what else we have. CH, like at the beginning of chin. CH chin. Ch Good job, Mama Echo. I hope you're doing it with her. Okay, our next digraph. S-H, like at the beginning of ship. Ready? S-H, ship, sh. Oh, good job. Two more. This one makes the same sound as just W. It's W-H whistle, like at the beginning of whistle. Ready? W-H whistle, what? Awesome. Last one. T-H, like at the beginning of thumb. T-H thumb. Good job, Mama Echo is so proud of you, and so is Baby Echo. What's up, Baby Echo? Baby Echo wonders why we haven't buttered up the popcorn words. Okay, Baby Echo, we'll make sure we do that. I'm going to use a yellow crayon. I see it. I'm going to circle it and butter it up. Is. Hmm. R. and it goes on and on. I want you to try to butter up the popcorn words yourself on the copy I sent home. I sent a list of all the popcorn words that we've been practicing in the email to your parents. I hope you have a wonderful day. I miss you so much.